Surprise, surprise, we've got for you Toyota's toughest ever top secret. Well, intentionally or unintentionally, the Toyota Hilux hybrid plan has leaked. New renders based on the U.S. market Tacoma show a really swole dual cab ute, making the upcoming Toyota Hilux the brand's toughest looking truck to date. And if it continues to look like this, competitors like the Ford Ranger Raptor, Nissan Navara Warrior, and Mitsubishi Triton Extreme will be scared. Also, how many of you are excited? Hold your horses, we've got more to tell you, only here on Tech Addicts. So let's go places with Toyota, shall we? To compete with the likes of the Ford Ranger Raptor, the Nissan Navara Warrior, and the Mitsubishi Triton Extreme, Toyota has introduced the Hilux GR Sport as its flagship performance vehicle for the category of mid-size pickup trucks. Enhancements made to the suspension systems, such as upgraded dampers and springs, allow for improved on-road as well as off-road capabilities. Additionally, the base level of standard equipment has been raised. These changes were made in comparison to the regular Hilux and include a significant increase in the level of standard equipment. To separate it from standard versions of Australia's popular Ute, the GR Sport also includes more aggressive styling cues front and back, increased ride height, bigger wheels, and a plethora of options. Because of this, it is also the most costly Hilux that has ever been produced. Now what you are looking at is not the genuine Toyota Hilux. Rather, it is a fresh set of renders based on leaked patent images of the Toyota Tacoma, which is the American cousin of our Ute. These renders were discovered by Brazilian media. The image that you see above was created from those renders by Colessa.ru and provides us with the most accurate depiction we have seen yet of what the next generation Toyota Hilux will look like. You may be wondering, what is the connection between the Hilux and the Tacoma? According to reports, the two vehicles are being built concurrently, and both of them, along with the Tundra, will use the same platform that Toyota calls the TNGAF. It is anticipated that the exterior design of the next-generation Hilux would, this time around, closely resemble that of the all-new Tacoma. This is because the Tundra is about to be introduced in Australia, and the demand for American-style truck aesthetics is growing. The most important question is, at what time? It is anticipated that the all-new Toyota Hilux will make its debut in 2024, but it is more probable that it will take place in 2025. This is since the brand is preparing to unveil the current generation Hilux GR Sport, which suggests that an all-new model is still a ways off. The Toyota Tacoma is anticipated to debut on sale in the United States with two different engine choices, the first of which will be a 2.4-liter turbo gas that has 198 kilowatts and 419 newton meters of torque. However, the second choice is the one that has drawn our attention. The Toyota Tacoma is expected to debut with an electrified, 2.4-liter hybrid engine as an available powertrain choice. This engine is anticipated to have diesel beating outputs of 270 kilowatts and approximately 550 newton meters of torque. It belongs to the Toyota Hybrid Max family, and its inclusion in the U.S. Pacific Grand Highlander was just confirmed. This hybrid powertrain combines a turbocharged 2.4-liter four-cylinder engine with twin electric motors to provide a combined 266 kilowatts and 542 newton meters of torque. According to Japanese rumors, the power plant has already been rumored to make an appearance in a new generation Land Cruiser Prado. Hence, its introduction into a new generation Hilux would probably be in the cards as well. Having said that, we'll just have to watch and see what happens. However, the Toyota Hilux GR Sport is ready and waiting. The Toyota Hilux continues to be the most popular dual cab pickup truck in Australia, easily beating new competitors like the Ford Ranger and the Isuzu D-Max in the race for sales of dual cab pickup trucks. Even though 2022 was a year that was plagued by stock shortages and delivery delays, Toyota was able to increase sales of the Hilux by almost 22%, which resulted in the Hilux becoming not only Australia's favorite ute, but also the country's favorite vehicle overall. The results of the 2022 sales were truly crazy for Toyota. The Ford Ranger came in second place, finishing with 47,479 sales, making it the second most popular, while the Mitsubishi Triton came in third with 27,436 sales. Following that was the Isuzu D-Max, which racked up a total of 24,336 sales. Though Ford and Isuzu have both released highly spectacular new models in the past few years, Toyota's Hilux is still a part of the generation that debuted for the first time in Australia in 2015. 
This fact makes Toyota's result even more impressive than it already was. Supposedly, Toyota is working on a diesel-powered, mild hybrid version of the Hilux. In the not-too-distant future, Toyota may make its diesel mild hybrid technology available on the Hi-Ace, Fortuner, and Prado. A diesel mild hybrid powertrain is reportedly being developed in stealth by Toyota for the Hilux. According to a claim in the media, it is anticipated that it will first be made available on the market in Australia. It has been suggested that rather than waiting until 2025 for the next generation of the Hilux to provide a diesel hybrid variant, Toyota Australia may choose to implement one on the present model. In spite of this fact, the firm's going to great measures to keep the plans a secret, since industry sources are concerned that it won't be as fuel efficient as the brand's gasoline electric hybrid vehicles. The hybrid technology developed by Toyota, which is now in its fifth generation, offers up to 50% reduction in the amount of fuel consumed in everyday driving. On the other hand, the Hilux will come equipped with a mild hybrid system which isn't nearly as effective and offers just modest benefits. An executive from Toyota named Sean Hanley made the announcement earlier this year that the Hilux would be electrified in some capacity before the end of the decade. He went on to say that the business was looking into all the different sorts of electric technology, but he did not say if they were studying hybrid, hydrogen, or electric power. It has been speculated that Toyota's diesel mild hybrid technology would be made available on vehicles such as the Hi Ace, the Fortuner, and Prado, all of which make use of undoubtedly great diesel engines. Well, how exactly Toyota intends to outsell Ford Rangers using its own pickup truck, the Hilux, in the year 2023. The month of January may have been won by Ford when it came to the title of Australia's best-selling ute, but Toyota still plans on winning the sales war. Toyota says the arrival of the GR Sport, along with its homegrown road, will ensure that 2023 is another strong year for the brand's best-selling vehicle. Last month, Ford's new Ranger found 4,749 homes in January, which is a significant increase of 46.3% compared to the 3,245 sales the now-defunct version of the vehicle managed to achieve in the same month in 2022. That was sufficient to propel the Hilux into a very unexpected second position, with Toyota's top seller reaching 4,131 sales overall. There has been speculation as to whether or not Toyota's Hilux, which is far further along in its product cycle than Ford's brand new Ranger, will be able to compete with the automaker's pickup truck this year. And despite the fact that production problems are undoubtedly having an effect on results, there is a waiting period on the Hilux, and the brand's delivering fewer vehicles than it holds orders for. January's results would not have been celebrated at Toyota's headquarters. But a month is not a year, of course, and Toyota says that it is certain that it will finish 2023 quite strong, refuting the concept that a shortage of brand new metal will damage the sales performance of the Hilux. While we wouldn't argue that there is no brand new metal, we've got the GR Sport coming, says Sean Hanley, Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Toyota Australia. So we are going to be releasing a GR Sport, we are still working on the Rogue, and we have a lot of extremely exciting things planned for that vehicle for the coming year. In the end, it'll come down to how the market performs, but I anticipate that sales of the Hilux will be extremely robust. The much-anticipated competitor to the Ford Ranger Raptor will open this year's chapter on Toyota's Hilux pickup truck. The Hilux GR Sport is scheduled to be on sale in the second half of this year. It'll come equipped with the Ute Standard 2.8-liter turbo diesel, but its output will be increased to 165 kilowatts and 550 newton meters. As a point of reference, the new Ranger Raptor now runs on gasoline instead of diesel, and it includes a twin-turbo V6 engine that's capable of 292 kilowatts and 583 newton meter of torque. However, the engine is not the only component that's been modified. The cars are going to be assembled by Toyota in Melbourne, alongside the production of the Hilux Rogue. Almost all the significant components have been improved, including the power pump, a wider track, tuned suspensions, and improved brakes. The company has also made adjustments to the automatic transmission in order to give better acceleration, and Toyota claims that 140mm front and 155mm rear tracks cater for the most demanding driving conditions. When compared to the Ford Ranger in 2023, do you think that'll be enough to maintain the Toyota Hilux on top? The only way to know is to wait. Moving forward, that's all for today's video. We'll be right back with more such videos. In the meantime, please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.